And my last video cut off on me, so I'm just going to pick up where it left off. No worries. Um, I just do part one and part two because I don't know how to uh, get them put together, and neither does my husband as of yet. So I just do a part one and two. So anyway, back to this. Our mayo is ready. We're just waiting on the air fryer to finish up the rice and the chicken. And just a little tip here, another prep thing. My son, um, well, we all like avocado, but what he does is avocado sandwiches. This is actually, you can't really see it that good through the wrap, but this avocado has been in the refrigerator for three days. And as long as you leave the pit in it, he'll finish that up today. Um, it will not oxidize as quickly. If you take the pit out within seconds, it starts to oxidize. So that's a good storage tip, especially if you're going to eat it between a day or two. Just eat the half you're going to eat and then leave the pit in the other half and cut around it if you're not all going to consume it and it will last um, like I said start to turn oxidized but nowhere near like it would if it was taken you know the pit removed from it okay went ahead and took the rice out of the air fryer because I'm going to add it to the wrap here and I like it for it to go ahead and cool some because I'm debating if I want to add cheese or not, which is another thing that's prepped in the refrigerator. And the reason why I keep saying prepped in between each item is because it's very important, especially if you want quick items, easy items, prepped items. Um, go ahead and get things. You know, you and your family, um, really big help. My husband will go ahead and prep up tomatoes, spinach, whatever we're having for next couple of days um, we have prepped um, cherries in there we have prepped when I said prepped washed and ready washed and ready grapes so that way it's a grab and go it's not um, having to do that especially if you're hungry or not able to so it makes it easy uh, to just quickly grab so we're going to add this rice onto there so it could cool because I'm weird. I don't like my cheese to melt on my wraps so that it gives it time to cool. And there we have our garlic infused basmati rice spread out and cooling. And there's the spinach spread out on top of the rice. And here's the prep cheese. Uh, this time it's pepper jack because that's what we had. So my husband got that shredded up and I think I'm going to put that on the side because the chicken is going to be warm and like I said, I don't like my cheese to be melted on my wrap. So, um, so that way I could kind of sprinkle some on top or eat it on the side before taking a bite so that way it stays nice and cold. And sprinkle the prepped items, like I said, there's the prepped uh, grapes that are left and the prepped cherries. Now. I wash mine with vinegar water and then like I said we lay them out on paper towels and let it dry after it's rinsed of course and then make sure if you want it to keep fresh and longer um, make sure put it uh, on top of a paper towel so that way the moisture won't collect and it will stay fresh for quite some time in the refrigerator. And there's the chicken, um, which I went over what we were having um, in my previous video before it got cut off. But there's a chicken um, that I put on there. Like I said, there's my grapes and cherries. And then there's my cheese that I want to have on the side or sprinkle on top. And there it is all wrapped up um, with the... Rice in there is still steaming. Can you see the steam coming off? Yep, I can see the little bit of steam. So that's what we're having for lunch today, which will be this with some hot tea um, that was infused in the French press, which is in the previous video before it cut off. So enjoy. What are you having today for breakfast, lunch, or brunch? Thanks for watching.